Keurig K-Cup Keurig K-Cup single serve coffee maker in today's video I'm going to be reviewing Keurig K-Cup coffee maker we are going to take a look at what it looks like what part comes with it how easy to use it how convenient it is to have this as a coffee maker in your home so let's dive right so in today's video about Keurig K-Slim coffee maker review this is the box this is what it looks like and that's how everything came out of I took everything out of here so it was just a single box with the packaging that comes with it and then in the box contain the manual how to use it and then also comes with a coupon that you can use for k-cup or to buy your coffee pods now for the actual coffee pot the things that comes with it will start from the back from the back comes with a plug that you can plug in. The plug is attached to the base. So this is not something you can take apart. It comes with it. Also, you have the reservoir where you put the water for your coffee. It comes with a cover, which cover the reservoir. You can lift this up. It's so easy. All you have to do is just lift up like this. And then this just lifts up and so you can take the reservoir apart this is the inside you can wash it it's not that very easy you really have to use a brush or make sure that your hands goes in all the way to be able to wash it so this is how the reservoir looks like so we're gonna put that back and to put this back all you have to do this is the ridges or the little slides that lies at the back for it to hold it in place so all you have to do is slide it back and then push it down on it like that and then that's it then you just put your cover back on top okay so we're gonna turn it around all right so when we turn this around so with the front we have the drip tray so this is the drip tray this actually comes apart and wash it you can also take the actual tray out it's easy to slide out you just slide it out like that and if there is any water or anything here you can just wash it off this is how the back looks like this is the base so it's easy to slide in and out you just slide this back in like that and when it, you hear the click and that is in in table it stays in there and then you just slide this it's easy to put your finger in here hold it all you have to do is push it in like that and that's it so this is the drip tray so when we come to the top of the Keurig coffee maker you can see all the functions that comes with it it has the power button which is this one here it also have a descale where the first time you want to brew it or as you make your coffee you want to always have fresh coffee scale it and make your coffee fresh all the time you have add water button here you want to brew coffee and you forgot to put water in the reservoir this actually flashes for you to add water that reminds you that there is no water in the reservoir so if you have water you are not going to see this button flashing but once you see the add water flashing you forgot to add water that is something i like about this you can choose between three different cup sizes you have the eight you have the 10 also you have the 12 size you want push this and your coffee starts making all right and then when we open this this is the handle this is where you open to make your coffee and then when we look inside here you see the little pin that poke into your coffee pot when you put in the coffee pot this is what pokes it for it as the water through to make the coffee we have the pod holder which is this one you can take this out to clean it and the little trick that i found when i'm using this is there is a little thing here that you just push down it's like a little ring you push it down and then it's very very easy for you to lift this up once that is out it's all around it you can see this little thing here i mean it's not that hard to push down and so this is the little trick that i found that makes it easy to take the pod holder out to clean it it's easy to clean you can also detach this off here all you have to do is push down on this little this is a plastic once you push down it comes apart and then you'll be able to clean this because with time you see that there are stains on here as you use it so i take my apart to clean it all out and then 
you can see the inside of this as well this is where the coffee comes out of and so you see it's easy to put back all you have to do is push down on this you see this little ridges here and then this one you can push this down there and then it sticks just twist it and then to open it just push down a little on the whole thing and then twist it to the left and then it opens right away for you and then you can put it back the same way you can align it or you don't have to align it and it, it can fit right let's say i'm not aligning this i just go on the other side it's still so you don't have to align it but that makes it easy for you to put it back that's fine it's just give you some room that to make it easy for you to put it back so that's how you can use this so it's easy to take out and easy to put back and all you have to do is as those little ridges we have here make sure they align this is the little holes that goes into the ridges we have three of those and then three holes and all you have to do is make sure you align it to the hole like that and then push it down and then you can hear that little click and then that's it just push it out push this out and then you take it out and put it back let's make sure you align it to the hole push it in and you hear that click and that's it so that is this one so that is everything that comes with the our coffee maker all right and then to make a cup of coffee it's very easy all you have to do is set up your cup here and then put your pot everything you want your water and then your your coffee should come out up here assuming you want to just make your coffee right into your travel mug you can do that as well if you have a travel mug like this all you have to do is just take the top off your travel mug and just set this in here you can make up to 12 8 ounce so all here here and you can make your coffee right inside here where you don't have to make the coffee into a cup before pouring it here this is another convenience with this also if you have a travel mug that is taller than this another trick you can do is you can take the drip tray out right in here inside the, the drip tray you will be able to set in your mug like that and then it fits right in there when you slide this out you will see that they have a little thing here that really holds can hold like a little mug inside so that really makes it for you to be able to insert this in here and then it holds it in place it doesn't do anything until you take it out so you'll be able to make your coffee right inside into your mug and then when you are done you just take this out and that is done and so that is another thing that i use this for also if you have a taller mug than this you can remove this whole tray out and just set your mug right here and you can use it that way to make your coffee so there are different ways to put your coffee cup travel mug all on here to make your coffee in a very simple easy way so that's how you can use the other three options of using the drip tray so to make your coffee for the first time make sure you descale it with just one cup of water before you brew your first coffee so i'm going to plug this in and then we are just going to turn this on and as you can see it turns on if you look at this right now you see there is two buttons flashing in and out and then you can see add water because there is no water in our reservoir if we turn this around you can see i don't have any water in here so there is no water so it lets you know that you don't have water in your curie coffee maker you, there is no water in it so that's where you see the flash and then you see how it's here so all we have to do is add water pots and discard your coffee pots before making your first fresh coffee and then you can see none of this is up yet because we didn't put any pads or anything in here yet all right so remember to put water pay attention to any buttons that comes on here and discard your coffee pot for the first time before making in your first fresh coffee now how do you make your first coffee with curie k slim coffee cup? and let's dive in right now one convenience about this curie k coffee maker it's less than five inch wide it doesn't take much space on your counter you can just lean it right there in the corner here and it will be there and then i can have space for other things that i need on my counter so that is one convenient thing that i like about it and also the easiness of using the curie k case coffee maker to use your curie k coffee maker for the first time make sure you wash it first so we are going to wash our reservoir first all you have to do is you, it has a handle here just lift this up and then we take it out or you can hold the top here to raise it up and so the easiest way i just hold the top take it out
wash just add dish soap to a sponge just a little not too much with hot add water in here we just wash this going to wash the cover as well with warm water and this soap and then make sure you rinse this good so you don't have any soap or any soapy water in your water okay and then once this is done i just wipe it with paper towel and just wipe it with paper towel not inside but just the outside okay now that this is ready for us to use you can see it's the inside is clean now it's fresh to use now just wipe this as well so to fill the reservoir this is the max fill that guides you where the water should be so we are going to fill this out and i use spring water to make my tea i'm not a coffee drinker but i love tea so we are going to fill this out right there all right and remember all you have to do is just hold this slide it in and right there it slides in there and then we just cover it and just put the cover on top and that is done all we have to do now is plug it in and i'm just gonna plug this into the bag now so we wash our reservoir we fill the water we put in the plug to our outlet now we are going to place a cap right here the next thing we have to do is we are going to lift the top so now that we put in our plugs you can see all these lights now we don't have the add water button on now anymore because we now have water in our reservoir now we have the descaling and then all the cup sizes that is there to make sure we have a fresh coffee so now we are just going to descale i'm going to choose the eight ounce and then we're going to do descale and then let's start you can hear the sound Now that we have descaled our Curie K Slim Coffee Pot, now we need to make our fresh coffee. So this is the reason why you need to descale because you see I've used this all the time and now when I descale, it cleans the whole inside of the coffee maker. And now if I make fresh coffee, you will see there's not going to be any stains or anything like this. So once in a while, descale your K Slim Coffee Maker. It doesn't matter which one you have. It really helps a lot. You see all this coming comes out so now you should have a fresh coffee so I'm now doing a second this scale to make sure that the coffee brew is really fresh since I've used this so many times the second this scale should be clean And now you see our second descale is clearer than the first one. Okay, now that we have cleansed our brew, the one-time setup process for your Curie coffee maker is complete. We are now ready to make a brew to make our fresh coffee. So we are going to make our first coffee. I have my coffee pot with me. It's in this little cup. You can use different kind of coffee pots as long as it matches or it's recommended for your Curie K single cell coffee maker so we are using this one this is cafe Bartello, and we just have to open the top of this and once you do all you have to do is place your coffee pad in here and then just gently push down on it you hear that pop that's it so now we're just gonna close this up and now that we close it up so it's now time to make our first fresh brew coffee and so you see all these buttons you have options you can make the 8 ounce the 10 ounce or the 12 ounce so choose between the three cups and i'm going to choose 8 ounce and then i'm just going to push on the blinking k
now we are making our fresh brew coffee takes one minute to make a very fresh coffee and look at how deep that is this is really really good how to make your coffee in the first time with your new kiri k single self coffee maker and you can see our coffee looks so lovely so deep and that's how you do it friends we just make our first coffee brew with our kiri k slim single self coffee maker in your home and why would you want to have a kiri k slim single self coffee maker in your home or in your, your apartment because it has multiple cup reservoir it holds up to 46 ounce of water you can make so many cups of coffee at once from 8 ounce all the way to 12 ounce it is less than 5 inch wide and so so it doesn't take so much space on your counter even though you have it on your counter you still have space for other things in your kitchen it has three cup sizes from eight ounce ten ounce to twelve ounce so that gives you more options of making your coffee and having a fresh coffee anytime you want it and number four why you need to have Kiri K slim single self coffee maker at your home it's because it's fast you have fresh brew coffee every time and you have delicious coffee coffee in one minute and what is the best coffee maker for your home or for your apartment i said kiri k slim single cell coffee maker is the best for your home i've used this for almost a year now and i can see how good it is how easy fast it is use it for space saving and it makes fresh coffee every time my name is florence at florencetracker.com if you are looking to see how does the kiri k mini plus look like watch the next video subscribe to this channel so i can make more videos like this thank you for watching and i will see you on that video take care bye